What's up guys? So uh, recently I posted a video about dating Zippos and how to figure out how old they are. And uh, today I got these two lighters in the mail with a note. I'm not going to read the note only because it has some personal information which I'm not sure if the person wants to share. Uh, but essentially they told me that they had these two lighters. One they bought and one was I believe his wife's grandfather's uh, maybe. I'm not sure which one's which. If I had to guess and you're watching I'm going to say this was probably her grandfather's, but uh, but anyway, either way, um, he, he just doesn't know why they're not working. And I actually get this question all the time, and it's specifically with uh, butane lighters. Uh, sometimes, like with Zippos, there'll be pretty simple questions. Sometimes people will figure out before they even get a chance to respond to them. But with butane lighters, a lot of times people just have one, and it doesn't work. All right, you just you try to light it, or you're sparking or whatever, and it just does not work. And you go to the store and you buy some fuel. And you put the fuel in the bottom and everything, and it just just doesn't work. What's wrong with it? Well, there's only a couple things that can actually go wrong with one of these butane lighters. Uh, both of these are electric, all right, in that they have a spark on the inside that's created. Actually, I could show you this one. Let me close. I could show you with this one. Let's pull this out. There's a piece in here, okay, that when you push this down, creates a spark. If you look on top here, it's going to spark from this right here to the edge, okay, because of the metal that's there. That spark. Now, when it's in the lighter, it's going to spark against that metal right there. And that is where the gas should be coming out. And in both of these designs, there's actually a plate that's part of the lid. So when you lift this lid up, what you're doing is you're lifting up on that little tiny nozzle, which is allowing gas to come through, okay? But in this case, it's not working, right? Now these are two separate lighters, two separate problems. This one, I cannot fix, and I'm not gonna explain why. And this one I was able to fix. So I'm gonna actually take this back apart, and I'm gonna show you what the problem was, just in case you have a similar problem. So this just takes a simple little Phillips head screw that keeps the body inside the case. All right, so we open the lid. In this case, push down. Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Almost let my hand on fire. All right, so this is the inner workings. This just happens to hinge. But it actually, it's pretty interesting if you see how this works. Again, this same plastic piece right here, that's what's in here. That's what is actually, you know, creating that spark. In fact, uh, on cheap throwaway um, electric butane lighters, uh, once the lighter is broken or out of fuel or whatever and you can't refill it, I used to pop these out. And it's basically this little plastic piece that clicks down and there's a little wire. <laughs> I used to zap my friends at school with it all the time. Go up behind them, just click it, and just a little shock. Almost like a static electricity. You know, I mean, it, it would hurt, but not like, it wouldn't cause any damage or anything. But anyway, so how this one happens to work is there's two little tabs on either side, which when you push forward, it pushes these, or this uh, silver piece right here, which is basically just like a U. And that silver piece is on the top of the button. So as you oh, hit it from the backside so you can see a little better. So as I push this down, all right, let me hold this. There we go. So you push that down, it's pushing this button in all the way down until it clicks. All right. All right, so this one was a really simple fix. Uh, the only problem was that this uh, adjustment screw was tightened all the way down. So basically, this is how you raise and lower your flame. There's a notch cut out, so you can use a flathead screwdriver here to actually turn this. Uh, but when it's out of the case, there's knurling there, so you can kind of get your nails to, you know, get in there and turn it. But it's easier with the screwdriver. Um, so yeah, this is basically not allowing any fuel to come out because it was set so low. Real simple fix. Once I figured that out, uh, just fill the reservoir with some butane, and now we have a working lighter. Now this particular one has a couple little balls. I forget what. Um, what chemical it is, but when you have different color flames, it's just a, a scientific reaction to that. If I get this lit and hold it away, you can maybe see those, those little balls on the wires that they light up. That's what's turning that flame, that red color. All right, so, and that's a fairly new thing in lighters. So that's why I'm assuming this was the one you bought and that, the, first of all, is a much nicer lighter. That's why I'm assuming that was the wife's grandfather's. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if I light this and adjust it, you can see the difference. So I'm lowering it. Now it's a soft flame, which it's not supposed to be. If I turn it counterclockwise, I'm raising it. 
See, now it's too much. The gas is coming out too hard, it's not gonna light. So let me turn that back down just a little bit here. Yeah, see how strong that is right now? I'm actually gonna back it off just a little bit more, and that should be good. It doesn't light every single time. Probably running out of fluid from playing with it. So yeah, that was a pretty straightforward fix on this lighter. Put that back in the case. All right, pop the screw back in there. You can see that's accessible from the bottom and there's even markings like most lighters have that show you which way to turn it to raise or lower the flame. All right, so if you look at the bottom of the case here, you can see the plus and minus sign. So it's counterclockwise to raise the flame or clockwise to lower the flame. Plus and minus, that's what that means on the bottom of your lighters. Very simple to do. You get a screwdriver in there, small enough flathead, and you can do it you know, with the case on. So, cool lighter, was able to fix that. I will have to fill that up with, uh, with more fluid. Now, this lighter was a totally different situation, okay, and I cannot fix this, and I'll explain why in just a second. But first, let's zoom in, take a look at the markings on here, because I haven't seen one of these before. Looks like maybe P, P-O-M-A-N-I, Pomani, Possibly Domani, I don't know. The bottom um, says electric. Electrico? No, just electric. Japan. I think that says P I E Z O. Or I don't know, something along those lines. But anyway, it's actually a pretty nice lighter. Now, this is the same, and that is electric butane lighter. This insert does pull out. Okay, it works exactly the same way, where this is creating a shock, and if I hold it like this, you guys can see, it's shocking up against this metal here, but when it's in the lighter, it shocks up against where that fluid is supposed to come out. Now with this particular one, it doesn't work, and when you go to fill it, there's, because this is nice and classy, it actually has two caps on the bottom. So let's take the caps off and see what's going on underneath it. This larger cap is actually covering the fill spout, or fill nozzle, I should say. All right, and you'll find this is a pretty common design on some older lighters, too. So if you see a little cap, take it off. This is how you would fill it. But if you noticed, that's a very tiny little needle. Okay? Now, here's what's really weird, and uh, it's kind of a little bit of a Mandela effect, if you believe in that. But this uh, nozzle, a standard nozzle on a butane uh, bottle of fuel, will not work with that. You actually need an adapter. And uh, in the 90s, when I was really into, really, really into lighters and stuff, I remember when you used to buy butane fluid, inside the cap was a bunch of different, um, you know, uh, adapter pieces. It was basically like a plastic ring, and on the ring there was like five or six little tips. So when you went to fill a lighter, if it was not a standard lighter, it was something like this, you put the plastic adapter in there and then you can use the universal tip to fill it. But without the adapter, if I go to push it in here, it's just gonna spill everywhere. It's just gonna shoot in all directions because there's no seal. So unfortunately, I do not have those adapters and I don't know if this is like a weird Mandela effect and it never existed and I'm crazy. Um, or they just stopped doing it at some point because in the last probably 10 years every time I bought um, You know any kind of butane fuel. I just never remember seeing them anymore And I didn't think anything of it really but back in the day uh, When I first got into lighters, I would say you know early mid 90s They used to always come with that little set of adapters So if you're older and you're watching this video Let me know in the comments if you remember that because hopefully I'm not going crazy But that's exactly what I need to fix this lighter more than likely, you can't fill this because you're doing what everyone else is trying to do, is put the standard nozzle into the not standard uh, fill spout, I guess, or fill port, whatever you want to call that. So, simple fix is to find the proper adapter for that, which I do not have. So, unfortunately, I cannot fix this. But while I got you here talking about butane lighters, there's also another uh, common problem. And by the way, on this one, once I close this, I'm going to show you what that other screw is for. This is a really classy little lighter. So you have a cap for your fill spot. Unlike this one, which is a much cheaper lighter, it's just kind of exposed there, so dirt and grime and stuff can get in there. Uh, but not so much with this, that's the purpose of it, it's blocking it off. But there's also another little screw here. 
and you could see, hopefully, H and L, which would be high and low. So this is how you adjust your flame, but it's not this screw. This screw is just another cap. So you take this screw off, which I'm trying to do delicately here, because this is not my lighter and I don't want to scratch it up. But um, when you take this screw off or out, this is just a cap. See how long that is? And if you look down in there, there's a slot and you have to take a smaller flathead screw or a screwdriver rather and get the smaller flathead in there and that's how you can rotate and adjust the flame size. Okay, but it takes a really oddly small one to get in there. But that's what that is. So for the owner watching this or if you have a similar lighter and you're like, what is this little piece for? This is just a cap. That's all it is and it has a little o-ring on there seal now the last thing i want to leave you guys with before i go is another very common problem is where the fuel comes out is clogged up okay this little tip right here on this lighter in this case it's this right here down in there where the fuel is actually coming out a lot of times that does get gunked up um which is dust and grime and dirt and stuff like that all you have to do is just take a q-tip Put some uh, rubbing alcohol or even you can use like regular lighter fluid and put that on the tip of the q-tip and just clean the top that's it you're cleaning off the grime and dirt and stuff like that and allowing that fuel to come out sometimes that just gets clogged up it's really that simple so if you're able to fill a lighter and it holds fuel but it's not working that could be what it is all right extremely common problem with uh, butane lighters so that's pretty much it guys i mean it's pretty straightforward there's only a couple different things that can really go wrong with these lighters Besides the tip getting clogged up and just cleaning it off for a simple fix, like in this particular case, the uh, adjustment was just too low. That's it. Once you fill it up with fuel uh, and it's not working, rotate that a little bit uh, and see if that's your problem. Another common problem, too, is when people's lighters get low with fuel, they don't purge them. What you're supposed to do is purge a lighter uh, before you refill it. So let's say it's really low. It's going to need some gas. Just take a screwdriver or something that's pointy and you push down on the tip where you fill it and it purges, it lets that fuel come out. You want to completely purge a lighter and you just hold it in there, you can hear it coming out and it smells, butane fuel smells like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> the girl no one wants to date. It stinks, so don't do this by your face, obviously I don't want to breathe it in either. Um, but yeah, you do that until it's completely empty Okay, if you have to come back and do it again, you can still hear a little bit in there if I shut up. But you want to completely purge that of any fuel before you put more fuel in. Because if you don't do that, sometimes you get little air pockets and stuff and it could get clogged up. And once you refill it, of course you can adjust your flame again. Now that this is filled with fluid, it's a little bit on the high side. So go ahead and get the screwdriver in there and again clockwise is going to lower it so while it's lit turn that down just a little bit so now we have our functional lighter again so there we go so uh the owner will have this one back which again i'm assuming you bought unfortunately like i said i cannot fix the uh the wife's grandfather's one because i do not have the proper adapter for that and i have no idea where to find them if you guys happen to know where to find them, post down in the comments. It'd be very helpful for a lot of people. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.